What's up, ladies and gentlemen? The Podfather Nate here from the Journey into Comics podcast, the flagship show of the Journey into Comics network. I just want to make sure you guys know you can tune in every single Monday for a brand new episode of our show, where if it's comic book related, we've got you covered. The following is a Journey into Comics network production. I'm a dude who likes brews. It's time for Brews with Dudes. Ah, juicy. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to a live edition of Brews with Dudes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Nick Maxson. I'm sitting here with Tyler McLaughlin once again. Hee hee. It's been too long. Uh, Dr. Dongo, What's also. Up? And Mr. Nate Phillips, first time. It's been too long. It's been the longest, because we've longest. never done this before. Right. The I'm so excited to you. finally be here. So, let's not waste any time. Yeah, um, let's get right into He's this. debating what booze we're starting with first. I know. Ooh. We've got a Lagunitas Cappuccino Stout. Oh. Um... Weldworks Tropical Punch Berliner Weiss. That one's going to be amazing. Uh, Galaxy Nuggets. And then we've got a chocolate porter with raspberry. That's the biggest can of beer I've ever seen. We are getting day drunk. Oh, this is exciting. That's what we're about to do. Yes. So we should probably start with the Berliner Weiss because that's the, uh, that's going to be the easiest to take down. The most Um, sippable? The other ones are going to not wreck our palates, but... Uh, they're, they're dark boys. Ooh, I like boys. dark boy. You're gonna so what do we got in here? In the This is from Weldworks. It's out of Colorado. It's got dragon fruit, pineapple, guava, and kiwis. You guys did a whole Weldworks episode recently. Yes, we did. Where you had a whole, like, your buddy went to Colorado and brought a bunch back for you guys. Yep. yep. Radical. That was, a, that was a great episode. That one, that episode, I believe, had a bunch of, like, what you would call dessert stouts. It had like the nutter butter stout and the oatmeal cream pie stout. Oh, it was insane! It was awesome. All right, you, uh, you guys are gonna have to ramble on while I pour these cups. All right. Uh, Berliner Weiss are some of my favorite beers because in Germany they're beers that uh, children drink. So I've had a, <laughs> I've had a lot of it, and the cool the cool thing in Germany, especially if you're in Berlin, you know Berliner Weiss. Uh, they like they'll bring it out to a family of people, and it's in this giant like margarita almost punch bowl glass, and they'll they put lots of food coloring in it, so there'll be all kinds of interesting colors and stuff, especially in the summertime when they're having festivals every weekend and stuff like that, or around uh, beer fest, you know, in the fall, uh, Oktoberfest in the fall, but uh, you know they're always cool colors and they always smell really good and. Yeah, oh, thank you, sir. These uh, you are really good at the pour, by the way. These are all pretty much like dead on with each other. You've been uh, not too bad, not Thanks, too sir. bad. Too That's bad pretty good. Time. So what's the what's do we cheers this or what's the? We usually give it a nice cheers. Yeah. Ooh, that smells good. That's one of the most traditional ones out of all the ones that I've tasted so far. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a, a sour, a sour bite. Yeah, but it's not, it's not like a negative sour. It's definitely enjoyable. You kind of get lost in like how it hits your tongue. You're like, whoa, I love the flavors of this. Mm-hmm. Um, you definitely taste the, the like a little bit of the pineapple in this mm-hmm. right out of the gate. Mm-hmm. One of the problems that I've had with a lot of the Berliner Weisses that I've had in the, in the United States or that are made in the United States is they're too sweet. They're not supposed to be sweet. So. I'm I'm digging this one on first taste anyway. Yeah, it doesn't sweet. have a like it doesn't taste like it's some kind of uh, fruity drink. It's got a really nice clean kick into that taste. I like fruity drinks. I didn't say fruity drinks are we bad. Louder, just, Blaine. Don't whisper. I li- I, that's my point of talking. I'm quiet. Go away. I like fruit. <laughs> I like sweet. Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, I dig this. It's like it's pink. It's got a nice color. It does. Color's good. Taste is good. I can't get over that it just is, like, really easy to sip. Like, I'm not having a, an aftertaste that some, like, you think of, like, your, your Miller Lights or shit like that. That's obviously not things that have ever been drank on this show. They instantly have, a, like, a bitter kickback, and you're just like, oh, God, 
tate drinking shitty beer. This tastes really great. Like, I could just sit and get lost in, like, three or four cans of this, you know? <laughs> I have some at home. Dangerous <laughs> is this word. Dangerous. Well, works doesn't... They, they don't ever mess it up. Like, I've had all sorts of different styles from them, and every single one, they just totally kill. Mm. Oh, that was, Jinx. like, in unison. Mm. We just did that together. Yeah, I am. Um, I am jamming that taste. Like, it's weird because if you said this is the 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 lightest of the beers we're trying today, pretty yeah. much. Well, I guess lightest in terms of um, uh, color, and in terms of how it's going to stick on your stick on your palate. Yeah, like the cappuccino stout, it's going to have it's going to have that aftertaste. It's going to be great, but it's going to stick around. It's going to be cappuccino y it's going to be amazing. So we should probably jump. What is this? It's a double IPA, the Galaxy Nugs. 450 North? It is, yes. Oh, you finally get to try some. On Eight. a show, I've had 450 North a couple times, but never a Galaxy Nuggets or, or any of their really awesome flavors. I don't get to go to any of the releases like you guys or get cool hats like Tyler. I like Nuggets. Me too. It's kind of a weird word when you think about it, I'm Nuggets. A, I'm a big fan of Nuggets. <laughs> The, the word nuggets looks like, like like the moon. Yeah, I like that. It's cratered out. Do you think the moon is actually made of cheese? I think it's actually a Death Star. <laughs> okay. Well, the, the sad thing is, you know, there's there's actually people on our planet that legitimately believe the moon is made out of cheese. No. Nope. Wow. Yep, there are people out there. <laughs> flat moon theory. Yes, flat moon theory. Dick, were you around when I showed uh, like Brando and everybody the um, now. Trip to the Moon movie? Yeah. Have you guys ever seen A Trip to the Moon? No. It's like a 1924 or 25 no. silent movie. 1902. 1902. My, my fault. It is 1902. I, yeah. And um, they, Netflix has two different versions. They have the original one and the colorized version. The colorized version, yeah. But and it is just, it's insanity. A Trip to the Moon was re- in, released in 1902, and it, without knowing it, really set the stage and like future told what was coming they essentially in the movie take a rocket ship which didn't exist in 1902 right to the moon where there are martian creatures and there's a, this like crazy uh celebration and stuff going on it's very very wild how that movie works and it like it trips your brain out because you're going oh my god like this is clever but 1902 what the fuck? It's only 15 minutes long, too. Also true. Yeah, good to know. 15 minutes. Total run time is only 15 minutes, you said? Okay, this yes. definitely has a little um, more of a bittery... I actually smell more pineapple in this. Ooh. Yeah, this is 100% Galaxy hops. Um, it's double dry like hops, hops, so right? that's what gives it the very floral aroma. Curiosity. I've always been a fan of the show, so you say things like double hopped or Galaxy hops... Is that just a different, like, essentially um, bud of the yeah. hop that mm-hmm. is, like, is it how it's grown, or is it, like... It's just a different strain. Strain. Oh, and they just name them crazy names now because they can, or... Yeah, uh, pretty much. Okay, 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 cool. So... All hops are not created equal. I'm no, learning that. Yes, no, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Ah. Cheers, fellas. Cheers. Blaine hates galaxy Round. hops. Mmm. <sighs> juicy. It's one of my... The Galaxy Hops are actually one of my favorites. Probably my favorite. I it's really nice on the palate. Yeah. Like, it's refreshing, and I don't feel like I want to go, like, take a drink of water immediately. It's a little hazy. Yeah. Golden. Yeah, still very smooth. Slightly tingly on the tongue. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of getting lost in the smell of it, though. Like, I, I love the I really like of it, the... But the smell is, like... It does smell really good. die for. As we... Everyone just... They just keep hearing us... Yeah, you just you have to smell it over and over and over again. I'm curious of all the different 450s you've tried. What's like the okay. one, mm. like ultimate 450 brew? There's so many. Uh, for me, it's Pot of Gold. Pot of Gold, I think that was a limited release that was kind of like their Fruity Pebbles, maybe or no? Um, it, it was it was a single IPA. Okay. Which and, and the fruity was the fruity was also a single. Gotcha. Most of them they do a lot of doubles and triple IPAs, um, but I do kind of feel like they use like I bet their um, uh, grain bill when they're making the beer. Mm-hmm. I bet a lot of these IPAs are very similar, and the main difference is the hops. 
like what hop was used cause and how many and um god they did like uh i'm curious to ask you guys because you guys all had this and i didn't cookies and cream nugs right <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, did boy. they literally use oreos in that batch and could you taste it yes it yeah. tasted like that cookies. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I used hundreds of pounds of. I don't really. I don't know if they necessarily used Oreos, but they used what could be an Oreo cookie yeah. or like that. Two chocolate little wafers with creamy stuff in the middle of them. It was what? delicious. I personally liked Brewlink Brewing Company's version what of that. What did they do? Was it cookie, cookies and cream uh, the same name? Double or? double O's. Yes, oh, double, double O's, O's. And then they came back and remade it, but with they added mint. And more Oreo Ooh, flavor. What's the newest one? The and golden? then they just did one that was a golden stout, and it was supposed to be, uh, they used the... Like the blondie... The blondies, yeah. Oreos. That's and then awesome. They did the... Was it them that did the pickle one this weekend? Um, the slimer. It wasn't, it wasn't a pickle. <laughs> it was... Was it pickles? I, I, it was kiwi and, and, and something else. I just remember it was like... Um, <laughs> It was like an homage to Slimer from Ghostbusters. I yeah. just dropped my cup into his beer. <laughs> think, th- thinking I was done. <laughs> just well, like, I saw one already there, so I was just like, oh, sure, I'll just drop it. He's like, well, Nate's what are you doing? toasted already. That happened way before this podcast. What are you talking about? We're 10 ounces in, and Nate is over the top. Whoa. Uh, but to answer your question about my personal favorite, it was yes. probably the Fudge. Nuggets. Ooh, fudge. Ooh, was that like a chocolatey? Ch- very chocolatey. It's really chocolate. good. A little bit of peanut buttery, but but very chocolatey. I know I sent one down for you to try, uh, but one of my favorite most recent beers I've had was the uh, the Belgian Stout Taxman Triple uh, Coffee. Or Quadruple Coffee Belgian Stout. Oh, yeah. The Taxman. That was a very delicious beer because you're not expecting it to be that punchy with its coffee-ish chocolate flavor. Mm-hmm. And then you drink it and you're like, wow! Yeah. This is Jack, delicious. Jack to you. Absolutely. Right, right there's the... Oh, okay. Gold the R&D one. department in here. They definitely are playing with getting sued. They're not going to. Oh, they're close. But they're not. They're, they're, they're working on it. What? Not as much as 450 is. I don't want to put them on the spot, but goodness gracious, they cut it close sometimes. That, <laughs> that Super Mario or Super Nugget Bros is uh-huh. like, yes. guys, I don't know about this. That's that's kind of one of the the reasons that I enjoy uh, 450 and Brewlink so much. You know, the, both of their beers or both of the, the companies, the beers that they make are fantastic. But just seeing the labels and stuff that they come up with, there's so much entertainment value. Oh yeah. Um, you know, especially with 450, you know, you can peel them off and save them. And I have. Right. I've got two mini oh, fridges you peel off covered the the, yeah. co- uh-huh. the covers of the 450 brews. That's yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. I'll have, to, I'll have to send you a picture of them. They're you should. totally covered. They're wild. That's amazing. Full scale fridges or mini fridges? Mini fridges. Still. Yeah. That's a lot of different brews. It is. Do you have like um, a cellar worth of beer? You think? I is it got, to that point yet? Like you're like over, almost overwhelmed with the amount I've of beer you have. I've got a closet that is pretty much halfway full. Damn. <laughs> of beers that will be good for years to come, like yeah. big, big, heavy, yeah. twelve plus percenters. That lasts a long time, definitely. They and oh, actually, yeah. some of those beers probably get better through the longer that they sit. The fermentation yeah. process helps them develop their tastes. So um, we will we'll find out. I don't know when. At some S- point, maybe some of those uh, Slurpees got definitely got better. Are those over like time. I know uh, really fruity tasting? That's they're the Berliner Weisses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're more they're they, so they definitely have that Berliner Weiss <clears throat> type like, uh, vibe to them. I loved that. That like was the first the, time I had one. The pineapple. The pine, pine, uh, pineapple express Slurpee, yeah, that. <laughs> it, I did not like it at first, but after like a month of it just sitting, I well, loved it because they um, they can them like the day fresh, or two yeah. before they release them. So it's like ultra fresh. So like I remember we didn't really like some of the milkshake IPAs that they put out, but if you gave them a week or two, they tasted ten times better. Gives Call, them time calling to you out, blueberry fresh fruit. Ooh. Did you try it aged? I, I did not. I have not tried it aged, but I had uh, the day that we went down there, we ate lunch before we left, and I got a flight, and I was like, you know what? They tried to sell me um, a four pack when I went up there and bought everything else that I wanted, and I told them no, and I kind of felt bad, so I was like, I owe, I at least owe four fifty north, the 
the respect, I guess, to to at least try it, and I didn't care for it. It it, it was at the time, in my opinion, the worst beer that they had that they had put out that I had tasted. And we all agreed with it. everyone that tried it. We're like, yeah. well, this was a waste I of think, money. Right? Zach but, Davidson was like the only person that was like, yeah, that's not bad. He liked it right then and there. But I had one about a week later, and it was much better. And then I had one about another week after that, and it was really good. I kind of have a bias too when it, and it, I, I already knew that I wasn't going to like it kind of because for me, blueberry is not a flavor that pairs very well or that, that, that represents itself very well in beer form. Um, when, when you think about like, uh, a lot of the artificial blueberry flavor too, it makes it like, I'm not really a fan of fake blueberry candies or anything like that. So I could totally understand where mm-hmm. a beer, blueberry, fresh fruit, uh, it's hard to sell you, uh, but continue. I'm sorry. Well, and it, it's, it's kind of along the lines too. Like we all love food. All of us here love food. Yes. You know, we have, we, our bellies. right. <laughs> we have, we have certain things that we crave and, and you know, like if I get really drunk, I know there's certain things that's like, man, I want to eat that pizza, ne- ne- well, pizza or wings. tacos or wings, what Ooh, have tacos. you. Tacos. I wish the guac box was oh, here. Oh my God. That was so good yesterday. Um, but never, never have I woke up on any day and thought, you know what, I'm really craving a blueberry pie, or I'm I'm craving blueberry yogurt or blueberry ice cream. I don't ever, and I like blueberries. Don't get me wrong, but, but it's I don't not ever you're crave that. Out. Right, absolutely. I don't ever crave that flavor. Um, I actually enjoyed the pineapple one more than Blaine did. Um, at first, I haven't had the opportunity to try one aged i would like to try the blueberry i would like to at least give the blueberry one another shot um especially you know i've had like seven people now tell me that they get better the longer they sit so is that something that you think that 450 north should like tell you like hey drink this can in two weeks drink this can in four weeks or just maybe or just or just make a batch and package it and then wait two weeks to release it. That's actually well said. I, think I feel like they usually tell you to drink it sooner. They do. It's right on the can. Hey, drink this as fresh as possible because they use fresh fruit. But then I'm hearing from you guys that this most recent one, like the blue, blue, blueberry fresh fruit, was better aged. You want, you want it to be less fresh. <laughs> like, I, I just drank one from February when we went. Still tasted great. So the the raspberry passion fruit one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't remember getting any of those. I went deep on my nose on this one. I'm smelling the That's F out of this. What's this one, Nick? I can't see the... This is a chocolate porter with raspberries. Well, it's a porter, so it already wins. Yes, porters and, and stouts are my two favorites. I've been, I, I didn't think I liked porters up until about three months ago, and I had one that I really liked, and it was actually the one from Tay's. It was a, it was a smoked porter. Ooh. And when I was in there, I didn't, I didn't get to try that one. He, he hasn't made it again. Apparently it wasn't as popular. I'm like, that was my favorite one by a stretch. So I'm trying to convince him to do it again. But all right, boys, let's dive in. Okay. Definitely taste the raspberry. In that. I was getting, yeah. I was getting ready to Ooh. say it's like you get the the coffee kind of chocolatey first mouth feel, and then you get yeah. a like. Raspberry flavor is just elbow dropping you from the top. It's almost rope. like a raspberry rush. Yes, you have that chocolate that hits you, and you're like, "Oh, that's delish!" Wop. Yep. Yeah. Here's the raspberry. Yes. Creamy. Mm-hmm. Very, Very velvety. Velvety. I don't know if this is crushable, but it is definitely sippable. Like I could sit there for a long time I, and enjoy the sipping of this. I have kind of an interesting relationship with. Porters and stouts. I don't dislike porters and stouts. I personally like porters more than I like stouts. But for me, um, porters and stouts are kind of a wintertime thing. I don't want to drink them in the summertime. Is it kind of a warmth thing, too? I think so. Yeah, um, definitely. It's, for me. You know, a lot of times it's very heavy, and if I'm outside, you know, if we're outside cooking out, I'm not going to stand on the deck and just crank back some stouts. You want some IPAs. It doesn't probably. sound right. It's too... It's too big. You need yeah. light and big crisp beer. for summer. Shotgun yeah. some I, some uh, all day. That's that all. <laughs> who makes all day? Founders. Founders, and that's a they, they, you can just get wrecked on that crushable. It's all day. It's less than five percent, I think. Whoa! It's called a session because you can you can 
have a session with it. Okay. We tested it one time. Me yeah, and two I buddies. That. We drank it was it was oh, yeah, two fifteen packs in one day. We, we slammed thirty Whoa. of them just down at the beach. I do remember you guys talking about wasn't that the story that you got like super messed up on? I got very messed you up. You didn't mean to, but like maybe you threw up a little bit or something? Oh, that was that was probably what he's referring to. We were <laughs> We were seeing who could drink five the fastest, <laughs> so we were slamming them. Instead oh my of like, God. like when I, when we drank the two fifteen packs, we were, we were taking, your taking time. our Enjoying time, enjoying yourselves. But we were crushing them. <laughs> for the record, there was a purpose behind crushing them. Um, we were we were doing a promo video for uh, Chicago Domination Fest DVD, uh, like who won one or something like that. Or yeah, what we did was. On the bottom of my cans, we put all the people's names on it, and whichever one I crushed last was the winner. Um, and so we were trying to drink as who could crush five the fastest. So I, I slammed three, and then shotgunned the fourth one. And that was a mistake. Heaved it. <laughs> came back a couple minutes later and finished the fifth. God, you're a pro. You're like, I don't even care. I don't like to think so. So what did I puke? <laughs> This is very refreshing. It's weird because you think of a, a porter and it's a little heavier, but this is not sitting heavy on my palate. It's no. kind of it's got a, still it has a nice crispness to it. Well, yeah. that go ahead. I was disagreeing. That was one of the things that I was kind of getting at because <clears throat> I don't if it's hot outside or I'm working or if I'm you know if we're if we're outside playing frisbee or not drinking or this. whatever we're doing you know I wouldn't want to drink if someone just walked in and said, hey, here, this is what we're drinking today, I'd be like, oh, I'm just not going to drink then. You know, I'll have one, but this isn't heavy. It's not like uh, with porters, a lot of times, it's to me, the way that I associate it is trying to drink like Hershey's chocolate syrup, like just straight. <laughs> it's too thick. You know, it's thick and it's, it's just, it's tacky. It's obviously not sticky, but... The way that it, it the way that it feels in my mouth, it's like okay, I'm drinking Hershey's chocolate syrup. I'll have one and I'm done. That's why a lot of times, if I'm gonna drink a porter, I'll drink it right before I go to sleep. Yeah, because it's, it's a bedtime beer. Mm -hmm. It's kind of it's just relaxing, and you know, you sip it for a little bit and just relax and it gives home. you some nice warmth. But I oh, but I really like know. this. Yeah, can I see the can? Yes, you can. Teamwork. Got that. While I was in Conneaut, Ohio, recently on vacation, I bought another uh, another can from them called Panic at the Simcoe. <laughs> I see what they did there. Oh, man. It was pretty good. It was a double IPA. <clears throat> so I saw Jess posting stuff about your guys' little Ohio trip, mm -hmm. and I got really interested in that place. Which one? Okay, Mike. Just Conneaut in general? Yes. Yeah. So we, now, now we're gonna go. We're gonna take a trip and go. Yeah. It's a really cool little town. Um, it's where her parents grew up there. Okay. And um, there's not actually any uh, breweries in Conneaut, but we would venture about a half an hour, forty minutes out in any which direction, and there's tons of places. Well, that's one of the things that I saw her post that was so cool, and then. I started doing some research about the town, and it's like, well, you're only this far away from this place, and this far away from this place, and they, had, you know, all the, all the. I, I've obviously never been there, but I've seen pictures of the beach and stuff, and it's like, you know, we have this this badass beach here in Ohio that hardly anybody knows about. Yeah. You know, like, we. I haven't had a re realistic vacation since like 2013, so especially now, you know, I'm married, got a kid, we want to take a nice little family trip for a weekend or something. And as soon as I saw her post that, that you guys were going, I was like, fate has intervened here right. because I have to go. You I know? want to go to a little town and go sit on the beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was really awesome. This year it rained every freaking day. Damn. So we only got a little bit of beach yeah. time. But then I got, I was like, well, we can go here. Yeah, right. Just said you visited like seven breweries in one day. Uh, yeah. And, the, and, we we hit up, I think eleven when it was all said and done. Like the whole trip, nice. I think we I think we did four one day. Um, yeah, it was it was awesome. Were you familiar with all the ones that you went to? The only one that I 
was very familiar with is We Stopped by Ryan Guys. Okay. Um, but it, we literally just stopped by because it, we went on the day, unbeknownst to us, that it was their five-year anniversary. So it was packed. It, there was a line out the door, and a guy had a, a little clicker, and you couldn't get in until people left because the place was at capacity. So it took me 10 minutes to get in the building and then 30 minutes standing in the beer line. Damn. But it was awesome. They had a freaking brontosaurus skeleton in the brewery. Hell what? yeah. <laughs> yes. I missed all of that because I had to pee, but a brontosaurus, brontosaurus skeleton in Rheingeist. That's awesome. Whoa! So they're in Cincinnati, and apparently they're doing some renovation at the Cincinnati Museum. So they're like, you guys want to hold on to this for us? Like, here, take this dinosaur. Yeah, like, sure. Take these dino bones. Yes. <laughs> Do you know anybody that could watch my dinosaur for a few months? So Rheingeist is out of Cincinnati. Was that the first yeah. time you visited the brewery? Yeah. And it was probably an incredible experience? It, it was a brief experience. Like I was telling them, it was, a, it was their five-year anniversary. And it's just a big warehouse. Oh. And there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. And you were elbow to elbow. Uh, so I didn't get to spend a lot of time there because we had Tom with us, too. And he could have gone in, but there was a line. and we're You like, don't want to put your kid through that anyway. Like, we're not going to do this. He probably would have liked to have seen the dinosaur. Because I don't think he's seen a dinosaur yet. Hmm. You know, a skeleton. Of one. I, on, I have not seen a dinosaur either. Same, go, also. Unfortunately, go, um, go unfortunately, to the Indianapolis Children's Museum. Ooh, yeah, the Indianapolis Children's Museum does have Go to the Indianapolis awesome. Children's Museum. They have a huge dinosaur exhibit, and, it's, and it is absolutely awesome. Well, then maybe he has seen it, because we've been to the Children's Museum. They have an entire, like, wing, wing yeah, dedicated to dinosaurs. And I love the Children's huge Museum. Huge skeletons. Before, before Skylar and I had... Ruby, we would take trips to the Children's Museum every <laughs> right. year and just go through it, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's so much cool shit to do. I mean, what what reason do you have not to go? There's there's an entire wing of that place that's dedicated to dinosaurs. Yeah, I'm... I mean, We're I'm just big kids. Child, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> We're so, adult children. There's a difference. So I don't know that we Man said... Child. I don't know. Yeah. Who, I don't know that we said who this is from, but it's Mill Creek Brewing Company out of Erie, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Erie was about 30 to 40 minutes away, and that's where we probably went to five or six different places. One of the places was in an old train station. Ooh, I bet that was cool. Oh, damn, that's awesome. That was pretty sweet. This place was very, uh, Mill Creek was very classy. They had a, a huge bar area, and then they had a huge open like family seating area. Um, it was awesome. It was a really, really great trip. Have you been into these places that are breweries that have had just like, oh, their food is amazing, like even better than what you expected, or is it all of them? The majority. If they've got food, usually it's really good. I know Three Floyds is phenomenal. Oh their yeah, food sort. I um, mean, their food is next level. Four Four Fifties Pizza really, really surprised me. You, you know, I've heard you guys all say that, and I want to try Four Fifty Pizza. Yeah, they're 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 doing a legitimate bridge up bri- or bridge. Brick oven, like artisanal style pizza, it's just fantastic. And we've got so many different kinds. Of, I, my favorite is the chicken bacon ranch. Ooh, so the when, blue cheese steak. Back in September, when we went and saw Between the Buried and Me, up in Chicago, contortionist, tooth grinder, all that stuff. Um, I can hear myself just fuck off, Tyler. Did you lose your? <laughs> did you lose your point? He was getting no. limp. <laughs> anyway, so we we went and visited a little brew pub brewery. In Chicago, and you know that place, the food wasn't that great. Uh, that was a, a vegan place, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Is that Lagunitas that you guys went to in Chicago? We tried. Oh, you tried to go to Lagunitas. I remember. We that tried story. to go to Lagunitas, and they were like, "Private party, like, right?" Yeah, like we're not open today, and you could hear music bumping in the background. <laughs> You're like, "Are we not cool enough to come in?" <laughs> that was where we found a fucking syringe on the ground yes. next to the car. What? Yes. Oh, I do remember that. I do remember. Yeah, you yeah we're like, okay then. Yeah. <laughs> All right Back then. Podcastrophe, episode six. Wow, I can't colors. believe you remember that. Yes, it was colors way back when. That was before Tyler was a co-host. Yeah. Yeah. And then the show got awesome. And then the <laughs> those show. were the dark ages. <laughs> those were the dark times. Those were the dark times. Man, this beer is amazing. It's it's really good. I'm I'm actually legitimate. You know, I, we've been so, at least myself, we, I've been so spoiled with 450 and the stuff that I um, really, really like from Brewlink. Don't do what, that to me, you what's, ass. What's the pineapple one that I really like from Brewlink? 
Oh, the Cosmic Jacuzzi. Thank you. Cos mm, that one's Cosmic excellent. Jacuzzi. I love that. And you can actually that, find that, is, that around that here. That is legitimately probably my favorite one that I've had just over everything. Um, you know, from 450 specifically, I obviously love the pot of gold. Um, they did cocoa nugs too. I don't. I don't care for the cocoa nuggets. I really like platinum nuggets uh, from 450 North. If I was gonna, if I had to drink one every day and not like treat myself, it would be platinum nuggets. For or uh, pot of gold for me is like treat yourself. <laughs> Just because <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed beer. it so much and it, it was so <laughs> limited. You know, I've only had a few of them, um, but I really liked golden nuggets. Oh yeah, and powdered nugs. The powdered nugs are my favorite. Uh, powdered nugs was was I miss powdered what flavor is that? What what are they going for? Uh, powdered it, nug, powdered. It, I, I don't know how to describe it's, it. It's I like, don't just, remember even what it's was like in a, it. It's like a puppy chow cocaine. Whoa! <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> it was just good. From puppy chow to cocaine, there's a big gap it's there. It's all I tried putting it in my nose, and sugar, it was awful. <laughs> sugar is cocaine. So, um, but yeah, I mean the pa the powdered. Well, you know, the first time that I was on Brews with Dudes, that was my first major craft beer uh, experience because up until that point, I had my nose in the air and I said, I drink beer. You know, I I, I spent a lot of time in Germany growing up. The nation literally has a law about how pure their beer can be, and if it's not good enough, it's not made. You know, it's against the law. So I, 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 I can. <laughs> true. I considered myself like too good to drink craft beer because I had tried some. Um, you know, when craft beer craft beer first started to get popular, and it was terrible. I mean, it was just absolutely terrible. It was like I, I'll, I'd rather drink Natty Ice than some of the the initial Whoa, craft shots beer. Fired. Yeah, than some of the initial craft beer that I tasted. And then you know, you gonna play back GameCube and, too? Do what? <laughs> Natty Ice and GameCube? Yeah, <laughs> Chad Bro Chill Twenty One. Right. But you know, getting getting back in uh, back in touch with Nick and then doing the podcast review thing. It's like I really. I really owe it to these guys that are, are, are going out on a limb for me to give this a shot again. And I've, I've been impressed ever since. You know, I have a hard time drinking regular beer because I enjoy this so much. Dude, I mean, I didn't really get down with craft beers at all until Nick brought Brews with Dudes to the network. And then as soon as Brews with Dudes became a thing and I started listening, it was like, not only is the style of podcast infectious and fun to listen to, it makes you want to try all these beers right. and go out and experience beers. And it also mm -hmm. allowed me to kind of like throw my rule book out the window and it's like, fuck what I know. I'm going to go to a specialty shop and buy a beer I've never tried before, mm -hmm. but based on what I read, thinking about what Brews with Dudes has said and going, oh, I bet that this is similar to what they've tried or exactly what they've tried or whatever. Well, for me... It's it's kind of like it's it's a lot. Of, it's very similar to how I view going to the movies. It's 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 the experience thing, and I'm sure it's the same way for Nick and Blaine too. I mean, we all get to hang out and spend time together and go check out these breweries, and you know we're doing the podcast and and we're making these memories together and experiencing all this stuff. And you know, every time I go to the liquor store now, thank you. Every thank you, time sir. I go to the liquor store now, it's like. What am I gonna find? You know, I, I've I've brought uh, here recently. I brought a um, kind of a, a fresh fruit uh, pale ale from a brewery in Missouri. Blaine didn't like it. I liked it at first, and after it's aged a little bit, it's kind of like the fresh fruit thing. I actually think it's a lot better than it initially was. Um, I don't think it's as good as any of the stuff that we're trying right now or any of the stuff that 450's kicked out, but you never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to experience. So I just think it's really cool that that we get to do all of this shit together, you know, which makes it more fun. Absolutely. What are we trying now, Nick? What is this one? This is a cappuccino stout from Lagunitas. I um, almost sniffed that up my nose. It, uh, don't do that. I would no, not do hurt. that. <clears throat> It's Trust me. not to uh, do that. 9.3%. So this is our biggest ass kicker. Yes. Whoa. This is our beefy boy. We're I will say that when top. Bruce Finish the Dude started, I did not know what IBUs were or ABV, alcohol by volume and whatnot. And now when I go to a place, because of your show and because of what you guys have laid out, like I'm looking at 
alcohol by volume, I'm looking at the bitter units and how mm-hmm. bitter it's going to be because I know the more bitter it is, the less I'm probably going to get down with it. You I'm, know? I'm not a big fan of bitterness. Absolutely. Um, what is this? Yeah, this is only going to be 29, not which bad. I would have guessed because it says cappuccino. Yeah. So it's like yeah. it's going to be a coffee. It's going to be more of a... Um, I imagine it's going to be creamy, but let's not, uh, let's not assume. Let's just find out for ourselves. You got to really enjoy the smell. I mean, I, I, I love coffee beer. Whoa, that doesn't taste like beer at all. It's not no. bad. It doesn't even have an aftertaste. No, it doesn't. My goodness. Sippable. Ever, ever since the Dark Lord episode we did, like, I've been looking forward to like, trying the next stout. Yeah, I'm not gonna Man, lie. That, you're a stout guy now. I'm not a stout guy, but I look forward to you trying. Used new to not ones. be a stout guy at all. So when nope. we when we did that when we went to release um, when uh, blueberry fresh fruit and all that all that stuff was really platinum nuggets was released. That was the first time that I had tried a dark lord. There was Same. a guy. Mm-hmm. There was a guy bebopping around in line, and he's like, "Here, do you guys want to try this?" And we're like, "Well, we don't have any cups." And he's like, "Here, I have some cups." Right, and I was like, "What are we trying?" And he goes, "Oh, it's Dark Lord," and then and then he just chronicles like the history of Dark Lord. And How many Lord. years ago was that Dark Lord that you tried? Tw- was it 2016? That was a 2017. So, 2017. Oh, so it was a year older. Um, but he, I mean, he just go. I mean, he just goes ham right into what Dark Lord is, and <laughs> you know, he's talking about Dark Lord Day, and I'm like. I just wanted to try this beer, dude. But right. thank, but thanks for all the information. And it's really cool, you know, because I didn't know any of that stuff. Yeah, you know. But I I, I, I dug it and immediately. I was like, this is some of the best dark beer that I've ever had. Those, ever. They're they're beefy beefy boys. But they but they taste very good. They're yeah. yes, they're, they're super they're, creamy. They're approachable. Oh. I'm curious, Dark Lord. Do you prefer them aged or do you prefer them immediately? I have had it a couple had times both. aged. Okay. I've only ever had it fresh this this year because I went and got my own. Yeah, um, and they were all phenomenal. Fresh. Oh yeah, they were. But I've had. I mean, yeah. I, I guess I, I I loved it fresh. It, it gets. I'm just gonna say beefier again. It just it's a it's a much bigger beer after you let it sit for a little bit. Did cool. you guys see a person at Dark Lord Day that was like a lady that was moshing that went crazy that got arrested? Yep. Guess what? Remember a couple months ago when I reached out to you and was like, hey, there's a lady trying to sell all her beer collection. Same lady. No. Swear to God, yes it is. The lady, she like, she like pissed in the middle of a field. Yes, she did. She's beating people up. She was a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> she was a mess. She's That's what hilarious. we all aspire to be. <laughs> Oh, the, oh my goodness! I'm part of a couple of Dark Lord groups, and people were just memeing the Still shit out talking of her. About her. Nice, oh, yeah. yeah. She would get on there and be like, "Just let it go, guys!" And it's like, "We will never." You are no. you are legend now. Most <laughs> memeable. Yeah. So your your experience with Dark Lord Day, um, are you gonna are you gonna hit it every year now? I mean, I'm gonna try. It, is that, is I'm gonna that, try. There were thousands of people. And they had some pretty decent named acts playing the Dark Lord, yeah. right? Dying Fetus, Revocation. Um, I don't remember the other ones. I, I, I don't know if I would say blacked out. but uh, You were having a good time. You were in the party of, mode. The middle of the day was a little fuzzy. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. We didn't get any, but to be fair, we didn't get any one of those famous pictures of Nick just passed out on the floor. No, we did not. None of those. I like that that was a thing for a while. Like every couple (laughs) weeks, a new picture would surface of me just Just on the ground. Just dead on the floor. (laughs) Just completely comatose. Well, it was more like just taking a quick break. Sometimes, (laughs) Honestly, yeah, because he would just pop up and (laughs) just, just, ah! Just just give me like a 15 minute, or 15 minute or here, guys, I'm going to rally. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It All right, I'm back. <laughs> Speed rallying. Right. It, it was a minute or two. I'd just be like, oh, there's some floor. <laughs> and I'm back. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like, okay. All righty then. I've been here for this. This is true. <laughs> Sometimes I've you, seen it. You just need to take it easy. So. I don't know. What episode are we officially going to be on, do you think this number This would is? be, so. 37? 40? I think 37 was supposed to be, was yesterday's. No, 36 was yesterday. So then this would be 37, yeah. Whoa! That's we're, cool. We were, we're almost, there. you're almost at 40, dude. How does it feel? Makes me feel old. It doesn't make you realize <laughs> that old, you were going to podcast. We're almost 30 years we old. We're getting old. I like sitting more and more. Right. <laughs> 
And I already love. Am I the set. only thirty-year-old on this panel? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. We're all, we're all still in our twenties, Nate. You're oh, older than I'm dirt. So sorry. Thirties <laughs> are not special. Guess what happens in your thirties, guys? You're thirty. More pain. More pain is exactly <laughs> the answer. All of a sudden, your body's like, "Hey, that's not." Hey that, Tyler, that's not a good thing for me. Hey, that's my I've, knee. I've been in pain my whole life. Fuck you. That's exactly what it's saying. Like, right. Your knee. Do you remember your knee? I remember. They're already doing that. <laughs> I remember. I've had a very hard life. When I was a kid, my dad used to say, "He's like, dude, your body doesn't forget." I'm like, okay, I appreciate that advice, man. And then now I'm 31, and I'm like, oh, my body doesn't fucking forget. My knees are broken. <laughs> my body used to be all right. Yeah, used to be is the word. Don't know what happened. It used to be a temple. Now it's just like a... Ancient ruins. A broken yeah, down it, shack. It's like a... It's like an a aluminum siding <laughs> um, once great temple that's just now like... Rubble, turds. Rubble and turds. Busted up old chicken coop. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Good God. <laughs> that's busted up exactly old chicken what it coop. is. Is it chicken <laughs> Lots coop. of coops. No chickens. Yeah. Lots, Lots of coops. coops. <laughs> a little bit of hay. Oh, man. They all died in the wind last summer. What are you looking at, Tyler? I'm not sure what you're reading. There's a there's a story on the side of this uh, Lagunitas <laughs> bottle. What was it story time with Tyler? Yes. Oh, my God. It? That's I'll a great segment. Tell us, Tell us all about it. All right. So the side of this label says, up until the summer of 2010, we'd always had a little ditty on the side here that was a peon to a good old hot cup of joe. I it feel was, like bebopping is the next line in this phrase. I'll throw bebop in here no matter what. It was built on the bones of the 23rd Psalm and went something like, coffee is my shepherd, I shall not. But that was where the trouble started. Turns out, talking about coffee's happy side on an ale label is a verboten or is verboten now in America. So the things that I am allowed to say about it are that the coffee is delicious, that the ale is delicious, and that together they are not worse than the sum of their individual deliciousness. Most of all, which are delicious. The label is glued on real well too. (laughs) We make darn sure that there are no holes in the glass, thankfully, otherwise we wouldn't be drinking this. And that the cap stays put. We are proud of this and wish to brag about it all on this label, which is allowed by law. Thanks. Call us. And then they put their phone number in cheers. <laughs> hashtag See, you will also find a needle on the floor. Hashtag, the, hashtag bebopping and needles. Bebopping with some needles. Bebopping but, with needles should be the episode you know, that, title. That's, that's cheesy as hell. And, and like, who honestly sits down like every time... Like, I, I would have never thought to Nobody, read that. No one proofed that. No. <laughs> They're like, you can just write whatever you want, and we're going to put it on there. How did you read that right now? I'm curious. <clears throat> I'm a man. Whoa! Shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, I mean that's, that's kind of a cute, like, like somebody, somebody went out of their way to make that slightly humorous. You were know, they it, lit it as fuck the, when they did that? Do what? Do you Almost think they were lit certainly. when they were doing that? Probably. I mean, like, oh my god, I gotta a, write about this beer. And it was the end of the day, and I, I, it's kind of like me putting out my podcast. Yeah. Ooh! Like at midnight, like, so are you gonna give me that label description? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> that is that that person is me. Right. <laughs> I that. love that because I I'm like the only too, one that yeah. totally relates with <laughs> your level of like, oh fuck, it's midnight and I gotta get this out to you. <laughs> so are you gonna put that one out, Nick? Uh fuck. maybe. Uh I thought about it, you know. But I, I that's kinda cute and funny and I, I appreciate it because I mean if if you read it like they actually spelled verboten the way that someone writing in German would spell verboten. Which is, you know, which is forbidden, you yep. know. And then, like, America was spelled the way a German would spell it. With a K. Spelled with a K. Um, I don't know, little stuff like that. I, I thought it was funny. It's Is that and weird I'll, for you? Because I, th- I feel like Germany is the mecca of beer, if you could say that. Oktoberfest is a German festival. So see, being see, I from used, there. I used to think that, especially when I was a kid and an early teenager, that Germany was the mecca of beer, but if you look at Germany as a nation, especially with, I think it's Rhine, I, I can't remember the the actual name of the law. It's like something, Rhine something for boat, but I can't remember the rest because I haven't been to Germany in like 10 years. Um, 
Well, fuck you then. But their but their evolution of beer hasn't it hasn't changed. You know, since that law came into effect, they they have here's the law. This is the beer that you can make. This is the beer that you can't make, and anything that. These are Either. the things you have to use in the beer Absolutely. to make it this beer. So they haven't evolved, they haven't changed, they haven't grown, and and, and it it it, it kind of goes along with what America is. You know, we are ev- er, uh, innovation, we are change and and progression and evolution. Evolution. If there is something to do with beer, we are going to figure it out. And Germany is, we are here. This is excellent. And we know better than anyone that this is excellent. Um, but this is where we're at. I mean, because if you look at just naming a couple, Corona, Takati, Seoul, Pacifico, Victoria, Dos Equis, those are all lager beers. They're all Mexican lager beers. Who taught the Mexicans how to make beers? Just Germans. German missionaries. So Mexican beer is just German beer. That's why I like it so much because I'm used to German beer. Um, and the only thing that changed is the water. Correct. Because it was only in the past 100, 150 years that people figured out how to fuck with the water. So it's like, what makes German beer different than, than Mexican beer? Literally just the, the water. water. Right, because Interesting. Um, the mineral deposits in the earth in Germany versus Mexico are different. When well, the overall microbio, like the... Absolutely. The, the, microorganisms there's so much that goes into it um but you know like i said we are all innovation and change and it's a neat perspective to have because how many people can say that they've been to beck's brewery and tasted beck's like two days after it was brewed not very many people you know if you're the only one on this panel i i mean unfortunately i'm the only one on this panel um, but it's it's cool, and it, if you interact with the with the German populace, they have such an interesting respect and take on what beer is for their country. You know, it's like uh, it's the cradle. Thank you. It's it's a proud industry in Germany to be involved in the production of alcohol, whether that's Jägermeister, which isn't supposed to be consumed to get you drunk anyway. It's 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 an after dinner aid. It's for a, indigestion, maybe. It's for indigestion. It's supposed Whoa. to it's supposed to relax your stomach and interesting. That's why most of the herbs that are in or most of the ingredients, which a lot of them are herbs, that are in Jägermeister, it, it's supposed to relax your stomach and make you not have indigestion, and it's supposed to make you sleep better. So you're not supposed to do 15 Jaeger bombs. No, you're not supposed to do 12 shots in a row. More like half a shot. Meanwhile, even though Jägermeister is my favorite, you're supposed to sip on it after dinner. It's supposed to relax. Meanwhile, your stomach. in capitalist America, let's get fucked up. I love Jägermeister. I can't, man. This dude I was friends with, who used to be my roommate, <laughs> on his 21st birthday, got ripped on Jägermeisters. Okay. Mm-hmm. And puked Jaeger all over his car, so his car permanently smelled like Jaeger. Yeah. I will never drink Jaeger. I've been, I've been there. I've yeah, been man. that guy. Oh, you've been the guy. You I've, were the guy. I've been that guy. You were the pukey guy. I've been the pukey guy. But the cool thing about pukey boy, you know, we in America recognize Jaegermeister for what it is. There's so many different varieties of that style of liqueur that it's sad that we don't get to taste them because there's a lot that are better than Jaegermeister. There's a lot that have higher alcohol content that are better than Jägermeister. There's a lot that taste better that have a lot lower alcohol alcohol content. The point is, it's for indigestion. It's supposed to it's supposed to make your after dinner experience better. So you don't have to poop hmm. so much, right? It's like a poop depressant, right? Poop can all my, my poop could use help. Drink Jägermeister. <laughs> So like it will help you. A half not, shot of Jaeger, but not through a beer bong. Just almost <laughs> like almost like cough syrup, right? We don't we don't do that, Nick. We don't bong Jaegermeister. No. That's a bad decision. No well, Jaegermeister is a little different. <laughs> no Jaegermeister through an ice luge. Jaegermeister, <laughs> an ice luge. <laughs> now I can honestly say that I've I've been to a festival uh, right before Oktoberfest Oktoberfest in Berlin, um, where we were ice luge in. Jägermeister when I was like 14 years old, so I'm gonna call you Lusion from now on. That's fine. I don't I don't care what anybody. Not Tyler, calls me. Lusion. Lusion. 
It's kind of nice. Can it you say it like Trump tongue. says collusion? I'm just going to say I want a little bit of illusion. Absolutely. Ab- no. Absolutely. I, I'm the greatest uh, illusion that there ever has been out of all the illusions. When you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. <laughs> the mic tipped over. When you're losing, you're losing <laughs> for losing. That's all he's losing. That's fine. <laughs> he's such a loser. But did, the, did the mic stand get a contact buzz off of you? <laughs> Maybe. I think so. <laughs> but anyway, to, to wrap up my rambling, um, you know, I'm a big advocate of people <clears throat> traveling and experiencing life. And, you know, that's one of the things that I appreciate about this show is you guys go out of your way to recognize and experience things that aren't just in our locale. Mm-hmm. You know, you went to Erie, Pennsylvania to get this stuff. Made a point to. Made a point to. You went out of your way to do it. And that's really cool. And if I was um, a brewery in Pennsylvania and you showed up and said, hey, man, I'm here from Texas or I'm here from, you know, I drove all the way here from the West Coast or I flew here and, and I went out of my way to come see you, it would be very validating for me mm-hmm. because... I mean, it's not like Budweiser, like wherever where people are drinking it everywhere. It's like I came here just for your beer, to man. To stuff that I'm not going to be able to get anywhere else. That's right. Um, but if I was going to tell just anyone that hasn't traveled abroad where to go, it would be Germany because there's so much to experience. Germany has an identical climate to Indiana. That's why Germany is so packed full of German immigrants. That's why Indiana is named Indiana. Indiana is the is the German word for Indian. Oh. So you get it, it makes sense. Dude, it's my hot buddy, in the summertime, it's cold in the wintertime. My buddy went on a tour where he rode his bike in Germany to mm-hmm. like all these different breweries. It was literally a bike tour where you can right? on your bike. Yep. That's crazy. They do that shit everywhere. Bru- Bruce with Dude's Road Special on your bike. Could you do it? Bruce, Bruce I want to. Bruce, I've got a friend who who rode from Oregon to Georgia. Good God! Fuck that! Whoa! Took him months. But Is his but name it was an Forrest? In- Forrest Gump? It was an inspiration, though. <laughs> and, you know, if I can just make that the... Because I'm imagining... I don't think I've ever rode my bike drunk. Man, that sounds fun. <laughs> and terrifying all at once. Whoa! Well, yeah. Right. First experience, bro! It might take me a long time to get from place to place. <laughs> It's like it took Nick two weeks to get from downtown Lafayette to the outskirts of Lafayette. But you you just out. have your bike on the highest gear possible, and you're just right. and you're going nowhere, <laughs> just pedaling the brake super is fast. Still on Nick. Isn't that called is still on? It's Isn't still that called changed. spinning it's your still, tires? It's still bike locked to a rack. <laughs> Why am I not moving? Why do I keep falling over? <laughs> I've been podcasting for hours. <laughs> but I've not gone a single anywhere. <laughs> when will this end? Oh, it's, man. I'm getting so many fun ideas. I'm imagining me on my bike with a headset with a beer <laughs> podcasting. Like, <laughs> I'm just now passing Did by. You, you just get a camel back? Ooh. And, like, Ooh. Tube, tube it. I've done that with screwdriver before. We might as well start drinking our beer through straws, right? S- spring break 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Got to do what you can on a bike, man. Dick, you're still behind. You're the only one with drink left. You no, have, like, I... literally the foam. That's literally Grow up and drink the damn foam. There's literally nothing in here. Drink you know, the foam. Drink the foam. He wants you to drink the foam. Yeah, I saw that was it. it. That was I saw it, it move. It was it. Lick the inside of the cup. You're a disgrace. Are we going to rate these now and yes. determine which is our favorite? All right, you want to go first? Yeah, okay, let, let so in first. order, Galaxy Nugs, Ooh. Lagunitas is second, Crowlers is third, not because I didn't like it. It wasn't as chocolatey as I expected, but way more raspberry than I was anticipating. Very raspberry. And then, honestly, the Berliner, the, the tropical Berliner from uh, Weldworks, mm-hmm. w- it was good. But these are so thick and stouty and portery that that one doesn't like. I, it's not as rememberable. It's the odd man out. Yes, exactly. It is Which the odd like man out. Which we like to do. You know, we don't. We, I like to. Yeah. You know, we like to have variety. So. Yeah. yeah I, I like. I always like to say before I start. I mean, first of all, they were all good, unless they're not. I Which loved all of them, that. and the buzz yeah, I'm feeling um, is nice. Every one that I had today i enjoyed there wasn't one that i i said you know what or thought to myself you know what i don't i don't i won't ever drink that again yeah i would drink every one of these so far again for mm-hmm. sure me too um, shit i'm jealous i don't have a 
case of the Galaxy Nugs, honestly. Yeah, for me, it would be the Galaxy Nugs, the Cappuccino Stout from Lagunitas, which is a surprise for myself, just because I'm not a stout guy. I knew you were going to say that. And then I would do the Berliner Weiss next because, you know, that's kind of my, my thing that I... I think I can critique that beer more than any other beer that I've ever had, just because I've had it so much. And then, um, not because I disliked it, um, but the Mill Creek Brewing Company would be my least favorite, even though I really enjoyed it. There was just too much raspberry flavor. I like raspberry, um, but there was just too much. I would have liked more of what I got initially than the raspberry. I think the raspberry was too overpowering. It was a bit of a flood when it hit you. Mm-hmm. It is. It's definitely an over like yeah. overload of raspberry. You're expecting to have a lot more chocolate, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then before you're even into the chocolate flavor, the next thing you know, your palate is settling yeah. on the raspberry. The raspberry is just falcon punching its way right yes. into your palate. And well it's, it's unnecessary. It's, it's the Skylar good... of Nick's shirt. It, there's just too much Skylar. It's, I it's, fucking hate Skyler. It's very it's it's a very good compliment. Ooh, I hate her so much. Jesus Christ, Nate. I think it's a it's very heavy. good I think the, the <laughs> I think the raspberry is a very good compliment to the chocolate. Um, but I think it's just too much. I agree. Not that it's bad. It's just too much. I think if they redid it again and and, and made the, the raspberry less, you know, I'm gonna uppercut you right in the dick, it's like okay, whoa. An uppercut to the dick is Uppercut to the dick. That's not something vicious. we want to happen. Got to drop to the knees first. Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm curious what you rate these. Because you're like the veteran of Bruce with Dudes, you're, obviously. You're the dude, all these with the, the dude with the uh, Bruce. I would say the Mill Creek was my favorite. Really? Really? Yeah. That's shocking. Both of both Tyler and I had it lowest or yeah. lowerest on our list. I would say Mill Creek. The... Would, you, would you say that's because it's the most unique? Out of all of them, because it's got the most unique flavor profile. I think I think it, it's the it's the 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 darkness and then being quickly overpowered by a, t- a totally different flavor. Mm-hmm. I think that's what that does the it contrast. For me. It then, shocks you for sure. See, I don't like the contrast. I don't like that contrast. We're I talking can... about Nick right now. You can wait your turn. Damn! Nick, shut Nick, down by for Tyler. <laughs> I that was your, an uppercut to the dick. <laughs> I got, I got you back. Literally. Bro. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I would say, I would say the the Milk Creek, then, then the Cappuccino, then the, then the Galaxy, then the Berliner Weiss. So why did you put the Berliner Weiss last? Um, just because it wasn't that impressive. It's not that it wasn't impressive. It's I think, just that I, I prefer, I prefer, the the porters and stouts, and then the IPAs. And while I appreciate a Berliner Weiss, it's still the sourness. It's very sweet, and I prefer, you know, it, it's it's like a treat, right? And and I like that's more of a dessert beer, and, and I need less the, of a beer. The beer. I want I want I want something that tastes. I can't drink a lot of the Berliner Weisses anyway because they give me really had or really bad heartburn because they're so acidic. Yeah. You know, that hits your stomach and it's like, uh, this isn't supposed to happen you right. know, if you drink a bunch of them. So I can appreciate that. Yeah. But again, I liked them all. I liked them all. So. I like you. I like Ooh. You too. What, you wanna, uh, you what, what about you, sure. Mr. Uh, Podcast? Myself. Guy. Okay, so I'm going to start with number one, Lagunitas. Number one is the that, Berliner. That's, that's really the, surprising. That's my number one. You know, it, it, overall, it had it just had the best taste for me. The reason I say that's surprising is because you legitimately don't like coffee taste. No, or I stouts, don't. stouts, typically. Maybe, maybe it's just uh, growing on me. I don't know. Maybe you're evolving maybe your taste I'm of evolving. beers. Uh, next in line would probably be uh, the Wellworks. Uh, Wellworks. Uh, the, the Berliner Weiss. <laughs> Velvex. Uh, I, I dug that. It was. I mean, it's it's your typical Berliner Weiss to dragon me. Fruit. It, That's cool. It tastes good. That's one that you don't see very often. I think dragon fruit was the surprising flavor in it because I was expecting <clears throat> a lot more pineapple. Pineapple, and yeah. there's not. It's more. It is well, there's definitely. also guava too. Correct. What? Yeah. Which I didn't can see be. That. Which if you if you don't do guava right, can be a very overpowering taste because guava is so unique of a flavor. Totally. So. 
I think they balance it very well. It's only a four point eight. It's not not very not very really beefy. No, no. It's a uh, wimpy boy. I'm not gonna it's lie. I think boy. I want to put the cappuccino stout top instead. Like it and Galaxy Nuggets are very close. I like IPAs for a certain. I don't know. I feel like IPAs are very fresh. They are easily chuggable. So that that Galaxy Nuggets was bam, 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 bam. And then with the Lagunitas Cappuccino Stout, I was taking my time with it, but every sip was like, Mm -hmm. "Ah, I can't have any more than than this because it's the greatest taste I've had. You definitely savored it. I mean, you definitely wanted to savor it. Yes. It was good. It's your turn again. Um, Galaxy going in third. And the the Mill Creek. I'd put that in the last because that that raspberry. I'm surprised you didn't put the Galaxy one last because you don't like Galaxy hops. One, one, for one, it smells smells so great. All the Galaxy hop stuff smells good. I really really hate Galaxy. I learned to hate Galaxy Nuggets through uh, Revolution Brewing Company's Galaxy Hero. Uh, I really just don't like that. 450 apparently found a way to make me like Galaxy Nuggets. Probably through, through their dry hopping process. Well, yeah, getting that uh, the, the, the a haziness. lot of the floral. Yes. So like, they just did it right, or they did it better. I believe it. Yee. I was gonna say, do, do you think they did it to perfection? I, I would. That the I, word? I, I, I. If that's if that's as close to perfection as they're gonna get, pretty damn good. I mean, they got me to like Galaxy Nuggets or Galaxy Hops. <laughs> Yeah, I think the Galaxy Hops were really surprising because they are refreshing. When you're tasting them, they hit your palate and they don't overwhelm you, but they give you like a sense of, oh, I've had this before, even though you haven't. You know what I'm saying? Like That was the first time I tried mm-hmm. Galaxy Nuggets, but it hit me in the right spot. Like It was a familiarity that I loved. Well, that was mm-hmm. actually released on Friday. On this past Friday? It, it was a limited release on Friday. Very fresh. Shit. One of my buddies went up there yesterday. No, yeah, it was yesterday. It was the only one left Person. out of all the all wow. the beers they released. I it's, saw he had some of the flapjack nuggets on on tap. Austin, yeah, wow. Did Austin go. I got. Did I tell you I got some of the flapjacks? Yeah, I want to try some of that. I only got one left, so one can or one ca- one, one can. Ooh. Can I can I be on we the can, first we can share you Try that. We already did. All right. But, I think, but I will I will save it for us. Thank you. I'm thinking. We'll a, I'm thinking of next week beers with you. dudes. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to hey. do it at field day. Ooh, man, that's coming, coming up for you I'm guys. I'm going to do Nick. my best to come to field Ooh. day. I don't know if I'll have to work or not. It is the most wild. It feels like definitive doom room. Like that is the yes. Like, that's the every, body it's hands down. Wild. Yes. We, we, it's usually 150 people. It's just insane. Let's just it's say great. there are people who have never been to the doom room field day. What in a small sentence could you describe what field day is to them? I might need more than one. It's sure, yeah, there. bring it on, a couple. Uh, so it, it, we just do a bunch of, I'll say events, a bunch of like games, activities, like there's cornhole, and we did the slip and slide flippy cup challenge. Oh my god, you slide down the slippy you slide sl- and then go into flippy cup? And then you go into flippy That's cup. That's fucking amazing. Go down I'm the slip and slide, chug the beer, flip the cup, uh, dodge ball. I'm in love with this idea. JIC team needs to exist. I kind of want to play games now. Team America last year was yeah. We were super we were awesome. looking good. Do I have to wear pants? We got you. Do not have to wear anything. We got we beat to, in the flippy well, cup by like there's going to be children, right? Seconds. We at least have you need to two? cover your ding dong. Okay. Other Wait, than, did other you assume my gender? <laughs> need to cover or want you to cover? You son of a bitch. <laughs> You want me to cover my ding dong, or you need me to cover? I it? need, I need. There will be children. Oh, fair enough. Okay, if there are children present, I'm probably going to just dress appropriately. There was a LARP last year. What? Oh, we had a power metal band. Zephaniah played. That's on your fanny pack. Yeah, a Zephaniah fanny pack. Uh, it's a terrible fanny pack. It's a fanny pack. I've only had it for like three months, and it's falling apart. I think it's, it's not awesome terrible, fanny pack. but I rock it hard. I rock a fanny yes. hard. You are the guy that wears the fanny packs. I do. I am that guy. guy. I've got like four fanny packs now. I got a uh, Ryan Guy's fanny pack. What? When you went to Cincinnati, when Ryan I went, Geist, yeah, they, it was only ten bucks. You were how like, did, how sold. did you feel picking up that uh, fa- that fanny pack? And it's like a light shines down from the heavens, and you hear what you would imagine is angels singing, and you're like, 
It's just dick purring. This is this is where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, this, it was. It was this magical. is meant to be. I was wearing the fanny too when I bought it, and it's like it's like they knew. Like they saw me in line. They're like, for some reason, you <laughs> don't think guy. that the guy with the fanny pack is gonna buy another fanny pack, but at the same time, you're like, he's the only one that's gonna buy a fanny pack. <laughs> My man. <laughs> when I bought this one. I walked up to them and I'm like, how much are the fanny packs? And he looks at me and goes, when I purchased these, I, for whatever reason, knew you were going to buy one. And that was before I really went hard on the fanny pack. But when I got this one, I was like, I'm going to start wearing one of these like four or five times a week. How does, <laughs> how does it feel being a missionary for the, the fanny pack movement? Ooh, it, you're like the rock. A, you it's rock a, the Dwayne Johnson. See, people kind of look look down on you, or they laugh a little bit. No, but but the thing is, is I have so much room for cool things that other people <laughs> don't. Have. So many rooms for activities. Room for activities, right Stuff. at groin level. Where all I'm about in. so much room for activities. I love so, so many. Your, your pockets aren't full of stuff that that's unnecessary. Don't need it there. in there. Right. I don't need it in there at all. Like and you need some Tic Tacs. I don't have to reach into my pocket. They're right here in my fanny You'd pack. You'd be surprised what's in here. And people ask me, like, what do you got in there? And I'm like... Use needles? I'm not telling you. Why do I feel like you need to wear a turtleneck and recreate the rocks picture in the fanny pack from, like, 1999? Mm, I like that idea a lot. You should get a Ninja Turtle fanny pack. Ooh! Is the Ryan Guy's fanny Ooh. pack black and white only? Because that's kind of their color scheme, typically. It's red. It's red? Ooh. And it's cloth. It's Ooh. nice. Yeah, this, this one's... A plastic Do you it's mind like, if I, you can you mind if I touch your fanny? Right? Yeah, that's that's less than ideal. He pinched yeah. like the nipple. You pinched yeah. it like the don't, nipple. Don't judge me right now. Fair enough. I'm not judging you. I'm you're, just You're coming at me with attitude. I'm commentating like that you nipple pinched it. You're I did gonna, my best to keep my eyes my looking forward pinch. instead of rolled in the back of my head, but <laughs> there's only so much you could do. We should probably wrap this up. <laughs> yeah. Is that what's supposed to happen? Really weird now. Ugh. Well, cool. Well, thanks for letting me be on Brews with Dudes again. Yeah. Um, it's been since the night that we did Podcastrophy that I've been on Brews with Dudes, and it's been long overdue. Uh, oh, re- it has been like six drunk, months. Yeah, drunk I really appreciate you Wow, letting Drunk Catastrophe was the last time? Try yep. this delicious stuff. And little little spoiler alert, maybe a little teaser, we're going to try and do uh, Podcastrophy here in the next month and a half, maybe? Yeah. Or uh, Drunk Catastrophe. Dude, Tyler, oh, or, uh, you guys... I'm so excited to finally be on Bruised with Dudes. Like, yeah, I can't believe that, that you haven't been on it yet. Like, I can't believe that it took so long. The pod daddy has finally episodes. blessed. <laughs> it's just impossible, man. It's like when you're it's running. It's not impossible. When it's you're, improbable. It's improbable. You're right. Because when you're running shows and doing everything and the traveling I already do, finally getting down to Lafayette and being able to sit down and do this with you guys has been a, an amazing experience. Uh, I feel like I've been like in the trial process of like preparing for my Brews with Dudes debut since episode one <laughs> because I have been going out and experiencing new beers and trying to put myself in a situation where I He's go. Been I don't butt care. chugging a lot of stuff. I d- you know what? John Cena did butt chugging in Blockers. I don't know if you saw that movie. No. Oh my god! It's absolutely hilarious. Maybe one of the funniest movies of twenty of actually really? of all time. So it's, it was decent. It was is, great. Is John awesome. Cena Good. actually like funny? Not. Dumb He's not Amy John Schumer. Cena. Yes. Trainwreck was an awful movie. Trainwreck was an awful movie. Not a fan of that. But if you have a chance, an opportunity, Blockers will make you piss yourself laughing. Blockers. So that's all I have. It's on the list. Well, cool. Blaine, you got anything to say? I'm just excited to watch Blockers now. All right. Dude, nobody cares. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys for listening. And we will see you next time on another episode of Brews with Dudes. <laughs> <laughs>